All right, so one question I get a lot, and one thing I see pop up a lot online that people are asking questions about is, if you have a stuck motor, what's the best way to get it unstuck? So I have this old Green Diamond 214. I got this in a bunch of parts that I, I bought years ago, and it's always been stuck. I don't know the condition of the inside. BB's back there. What are you doing? Uh, anyway, so, you know, most of the, the videos I make are for international trucks. This method of unsticking a motor will work on anything. So we're here in the shop. We're about to show you the trick to unsticking a stuck motor. Uh, this motor is headed to the junk pile after we harvest a bunch of parts off it and try to figure out uh, a better oiling system for the Green Diamond. But this will work on any motor, not just a flathead, not just international. Obviously you can tell these valves are not in great shape, does not look good in here, uh, but it works for this demonstration. What you're going to need is threaded rod the same size as the head bolts. Obviously nuts and washers to match, you're going to need a wood block that will fit inside your cylinder and you're going to need a half inch steel plate drilled to the size of the head bolt pattern. On a six cylinder, one and six move together, two and five move together, and three and four move together. This I mentioned this in the re-ring video of a green diamond, but this is where it comes into play. Um, and ideally I would be using cylinders two and five because they are more in the halfway position which means you have more leverage on the crankshaft but they have busted off head bolts and we weren't having much luck getting them out and we're just trying to get this demonstration done. So we're using this one, it's not all the way to the bottom of the stroke but it's enough to get it to move. So you have the wood block in the cylinder, you have the plate on here and we're just going to thread up these nuts and start tightening them down. If you were to take your motor block to a shop and you had pistons stuck in it, the motor stuck, they would use a hydraulic press. All we're doing right now is we're using the head bolt threaded holes to make this a mechanical press. Super cheap, super fast, very effective. We've got it all tightened down on here and all you have to do is continue to tighten it. So you can do it with a wrench or you can do it with an impact. Just try to do it as evenly around there as possible. Keep an eye on these pistons. There she went. And she's breaking free already. All right, so now that we've got it busted loose, this cylinder is way down on the end of its stroke, so we're approaching bottom dead center, which we don't want to keep blasting on if that's the case. So now that it's a little loose, we can move this over to another cylinder, number five here, and even though we don't have four bolt holes, we can probably do it with three just to move the motor around a little bit more. So that's what we're going to do. This method is way better than popping the clutch or anything like that because it doesn't put stress on any of the drivetrain and you have a wood block on a piston so it's not damaging that. So this is the least destructive way to do this. We've done this with several motors that went on just to be running motors without a rebuild or pulling any pistons or anything. So obviously that's not a guarantee that you're gonna have the same luck. And right here, obviously, you wanna have full thread engagement because that means at least an inch of thread. Cause you don't wanna be messing up your day by pulling threads out of your motor.
All right, so we'll put that in there just so you can watch that move up and down. And let's start on this cylinder. Put that in there for... Here, I'm gonna... Zoom in on this. Okay, so we're on cylinder number five here. Cylinder number six, I put this nut in here just so you can watch it. And this one is sitting on top of cylinder number four. They're just to help you see any reference of movement. See that number six coming up? All right, so you can see that cylinder number six, which also means cylinder number one, is almost a top dead center. The one thing you want to be careful with, especially on a flathead, is that on the back side, that steel plate isn't getting to the point of kissing a valve. You know, if it doesn't work right away, if it doesn't let go, the other cool thing about this is this makes a perfect striking surface for a hammer your pistons is already under pressure and there's a wood block on there so it's not going to be as hard as metal on metal contact here a quick demonstration of that yeah piston came up even more these are all loose now so before we did this we went through and we soaked this for i think about 15 minutes with free all we're not sponsored by this we're not above being sponsored by this, <clears throat> but this is just the best stuff that we found. Uh, I think the second best thing you could probably use is like Croy oil or something. PB Blaster's not bad. Don't use WD-40. Uh, good luck. If, uh, if it doesn't work right away, just leave it under pressure and, you know, just go by and tighten it a little bit every day. See if you get some results or you can try striking with a hammer. No matter what, just remember if you're doing it and it's a pain in the ass, you're doing it wrong. So... <coughs> All right, we'll see you in the next video.